welcome back. Uh, we're starting to get to, into the last few moments of this conversation, and uh, I think we've dealt with a lot of the big issues, but there's just a couple of questions that I would like to uh, pose. Um, Mempulwana, part of the work that you do is to make sure that the content is safe for children, um, but also, I guess, um, there's a bigger question as well about the values that, uh, as a society, we'd like to have. And I see often more and more, you know, videos, music videos, and the kinds of imaging that's there uh, sexualizes women, objectifies women. And I'm sure that as a board, you can't often censor some of it because no laws have been broken. But is there, is there, I don't know, a, a question that needs to be raised in terms of what kinds of uh, values that we should be showing in our videos? Um, the values that we should all be uh, living uh, 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 according to will be the values of the Constitution that talk about human dignity, they, they talk about respect for the other person, and everyone in South Africa needs to adhere to that. And uh, so we believe very strongly that uh, people must imbibe those values. And we have an education program. People can come to FPB to understand how you classify material. We even have an online, uh, people can now check online uh, to assist them so that when they produce this, this 90 percent of the online content that's going to come, even the DJs, as they begin to decide what song to play at what time, it would be useful for them to understand uh, the age ratings and uh, the appropriate content for a, an appropriate time. Because when, when you are driving your child to school, mm. there is language you don't want your child mm. to listen to. And uh, so, and online as well, uh, there are things that children must mm. not be exposed to. So we all need to work together to all infuse right. those values in the work that we do. All right. Um, we, we're running out of time. In fact, we, we don't have much time, but there's a question I really need to ask you, Dr. Jitsumba, and if you could answer in 20 seconds. Uh, international content, um, television and that kind of thing, the minister says we have to reduce it. Does international include content from the rest of the continent? Because if we're going to do this project of building the continent, we must watch African content as well. Um, I'll, I'll borrow the words from the CEO of Mr. Chaudim Cheney. He said, South Africa is in Africa. Okay. So local content, we including Africa. International content is the Westerns and the rest. So we are very proud to say Africa and South Africa is leading in, in Africa for the local content. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Minister, in 20 seconds, your final thoughts? There was a question about the subs and correctional service not playing the music. I think now the DTI is busy revising the IP and will expect the Department of Arts and Culture to take charge of this process so that you are also paid. Whenever your music is played, okay. this should be value for money and we shouldn't be extended to pay for that. Right. Basically, that's it. All right. Now, okay. That's where we're going to have to leave it, unfortunately. Wow. We've run out of time and, and it go, always goes so quickly. <laughs> Uh, so I just want to say thank you very much indeed to uh, Minister Faith Mutambi, Dr. Aaron Chitsumba from the SABC, uh, Tokum Pulmwana, Chairperson of the Film and Publication Board, uh, Peris Ankomo, Chairperson of the MDDA, and uh, Mr. Ruben uh, Motlaloga, who's the Acting Incasa Chairman and earlier Ambassador Kingsley Makubela, CEO of Brand South Africa. Thank you all very much indeed uh, for sh sharing your thoughts and insights in this conversation today. And to you at home and our audience here, have a great day, everybody, and Viva Africa. Bye-bye. <laughs>